it's so easy and so important. I'm not quite sure why people don't want to see it. It's probably the same reason when I play golf, I don't keep four because I really <laughs> don't don't want to know how bad I am. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, and then there's also there's two different kinds of surveys, right? There's the automated attendance surveys, <laughs> and then there's Survey Pro, and they both are so ultra valuable. Everybody here who's on has automatic attendance surveys already turned on, right? Yes, yes. No. I'm assuming Sal does. Kim, no, Kim, no, no. We should make him do it right now before we even go on. Yes, yeah, Sal doesn't. Um, okay, let me, so do, 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 do yeah, you know what yeah, I'm I talking do. about? I have an automatic uh, survey uh, for attendance. Okay. Oh, but what I do want to know is I wanted to ask you guys this. I want to do like an automatic survey on how the teachers are doing. That's what I want. Well, wouldn't that be the automatic survey? That's, that's, that's what the one on Rainmaker automatically does. That's yeah. right, but more, more, uh, more detailed towards the instruction. Do like you we'll get, we'll get a, we'll get a uh, feedback like how was class last night? And they'll just say, you know, it was okay or whatever. But I want to, can you make it more detailed oriented? Yeah. Like how was Williams class last night? Or did they do, did they do like the award of the month? Did they, um, did they stick with the curriculum? That kind of stuff, feedback. So the more detailed you want it to be, the more work is going to go in to get it set up. But yes, you can. Um, the first thing that you could do if you wanted to simply know about the instructors, you could change the wording of the survey of the automated survey, right? So you could say, instead of how was last night's class is how was the instruction in last night's class? I know that's not exactly what you're looking for, but it might give you a little more insight into uh, that specific um, issue. The other thing you can do is you can change the answers, right? So, um, there are no rules in terms of what the answers are supposed to be. However, people, when they see a survey, have a set of assumptions. So like my favorite class um, in uh, college was epidemiology because, and statistics, I'm not a mathematician, but statistics made sense and epidemiology made sense because it was like this thing that, should be hard, but once you just figure out how to put the puzzle pieces together, it makes sense. People go into a survey with the assumption that there are rules to the survey. And that's why so many people, uh, that's why you can make statistics say whatever you want. Is because, uh, because if I say, uh, if I want to say, hey, Trump's approval rating is X, well, what were the questions that were asked, right? Is it just do you approve of the president or is it specific things or whatever? So, like, if I say, how was last night's class? And instead of saying it was great, it was bad, I, w I need help, whatever, it could say the instructor was fantastic. We had challenges with the instructor. Um, you know, the class format was challenging or whatever. You can make the questions say something that you, information that you want to give. Um, you can also do that in Survey Pro. Like, for example, I just sent a survey out yesterday. Um, because we're going to reintegrate sparring. We haven't been doing sparring for almost a year and a half uh, because we had an instructor who was teaching it really, really poorly, and it was really bad. So I, I canceled the class, and we brought some of the elements into class. We still do combinations and stuff, but not like sparring, sparring. I'm going to reintegrate it into a rotation. However, I want people to think that it's their idea, right? So what I did is I gave them – Hey, I gave him uh, information. Let me read what I actually sent them because it was literally up here on my computer five seconds ago. It says, hey, uh, uh, parents, um, your, we, of course, say, karate students and parents, we need your help. We currently have three rotations in our curriculum. We're planning to add a fourth rotation. Um, however, we need your opinion. Should we add? And then the questions are, because um, we do bow, nunchucks, and sword in three different uh, rotations. The fourth one is going to be actual sparring, putting all the combinations together. So what we said is we uh, don't like the, one of my answers was don't add another rotation. Well, that doesn't, that's obviously going to happen. Right. 
The next one is add a new weapon. Uh, the next one is sparring, and in parentheses, I put light contact. So, like, people don't think it's, you know, crazy. Um, so, like, those are the, the only three options. Well, I know they're not going to choose another weapon because parents don't want to buy another weapon. Now, they don't know they're going to have to buy pads, but, like, so, like, I'm forcing them to the answer that I want. Now, I don't all of my surveys. I do often get I want real feedback, but in this case, I'm, like, pushing them to certain answers. So, your answers might – your answer options might be the answer to, to your dilemma there. Um, and the other thing is when you schedule it. So like, you, do you really want instructor feedback every eighth class randomly? Or would you like to see that go out, say for example, 15 days after they get a rank? Maybe you could say a flow happens when a new student is, a, uh, is assigned a new rank. So Johnny gets a green belt, triggers a flow. And not only does it say, hey, Johnny, here's what you need to know about Greenbelt curriculum. You know, didn't, did you know that you can also come to Wednesday class now? Uh, hey, mom, how is Greenbelt class going? And then maybe a few days later, how is the instruction in Greenbelt class? Or how is the instruction about Greenbelt curriculum or whatever? So, like, you have to figure out how and when you want that to fire. And that, that's probably a big aspect of that particular survey going out. Does that make sense, Sal? I don't know if it's still on. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I don't know if that is that helpful or is that kind of what you're looking for? Or? Yes, but uh, I got to, I got to, I got to write it all in the, um, I guess with Rainmaker. You mean like in the flows? Yeah, like uh, exactly um, what I would like to have them evaluate the parents. Right. Right. <laughs> Somewhat of an evaluation um, should probably not just be done by parents. It's got to be kind of a managerial type thing if you're going to ask specifics on teaching. I think parents are just looking for was instructor dynamic and uh, um, clear with his instruction. Did your child pick up the instruction and was he motivated? And it's got to be kind of general like that, I think, for parents to even have know how to answer it. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I can under I do see that <laughs> you, the that Dunning Kruger effect of parents that really think they know what they're talking about have a lot to say, but they don't really know what they're talking about. And then uh, you know, I got one of those survey responses was, "Have you thought about katas?" And I'm like, "Who the who is this? Like, we haven't done forms in years." And I found out that a dad had taken karate a long time ago. You know what I mean? So like. Uh, kind of discovered that through but he, he had never given any kind of feedback about class other than he really loves his kid in class that's all you know so I do I do agree that sometimes getting information from parents isn't all that helpful and it can plant a seed of wait am I supposed to not like what the instructor is doing you know mm -hmm. unless it's unless it's phrased properly can you just pull up a rainmaker and show um like Kemp, just how to do it, and if he wants to change the answers, how to change the answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do it right now. All right, so. All right, so here's Rainmaker. Here's, so this is a uh, survey. Everybody can see my screen, right? Yes. Surveys are so super prominently featured um, right here. There you go, I got two screens. Um, because they are so important. So, like, we had... Sorry, my screens are flipping around. There we go. We had uh, super great feedback from this guy. Noah absolutely loves parkour classes. Always excited to attend. Thanks. Keep up the great work. Like, that's great, you know. Sam loves weekday parkour. Always smiling, laughing with the coaches. Um, this mom's kind of hardcore, so she's like, I like Friday because she's not kids. Okay. Because her kid always behaves and the other ones always don't always. So this is, this is what we're talking about, Kemp. Um, if you're uh, going to uh, – uh, surveys. I haven't set surveys in, or I, I haven't uh, done surveys in forever, and I don't know what it looks like. I think it, you just have to click here to add a survey. What is Kemp's? Kemp, is this what you, yours doesn't look like this, does it? Where's the, hang on, I can't see you guys. I'm going to stop this share real quick and bring this over here so I can see you. What I'm going to share my screen again. What does yours look like? 
camp. Does it does it have this um, in the middle? Well, let me. Why? You haven't activated it yet, correct? Right, I haven't activated it either, so there's no reason for it to be there. Well, no, no, no. What I mean is, though, but it, it'll say uh, uh, I, I, they've changed the format a little bit, but it, it did used to say like, literally just uh, like click to activate service. But okay. Um. Mm, I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've activated. I don't remember how to activate it. So the one I saw actually just had a button. I think on the top it says for uh, the survey. Well, there's Survey Pro, right? That's and that's different. That is you creating your own uh, your own surveys. So hang on. You know what? And this is what I wish everybody would do is check this out. We're going to do this together. We're not going to start a new conversation. We're going to search for surveys. Automatic attendance survey. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so it should it should say at a survey. Ooh, somebody's right there. So if yours, if you can click at a survey there, I I don't know. This, and then that's what it'll that's how it'll pop up. That's what I was thinking that it would look like, but I didn't know that it would look like that for you. And this is where you can edit this information, right? So, uh, and this is this was Scott's idea. He talked to me about this a long time ago. It's not five star or four stars, three stars, two stars, one star. It's I loved class. Okay, I enjoyed class. Could have been better, and I'm really discouraged. And that puts that onus of responsibility on them. I am discouraged about something in class. I'm discouraged about my own performance or something like that not i hated class because that puts all of it on class on the the class itself and doesn't necessarily give them an, an outlet to say i personally am having trouble this could be i am struggling with my sidekick because i've got my hip impingement bad or every day i come to class some kid hits my daughter or whatever um, this doesn't have to be i i really disliked class so i really love this uh this format right here um, and then this is just what it automatically says every nine classes. We'd love to hear what you thought of class yesterday. Can you take a moment to answer this survey? People, if they have a bad experience, will come back to this. They see this every nine classes. Well, look, I mean, how many classes are people coming to? Like some of my kids feel like they come to nine classes in a week. So they're getting these pretty regularly. They will go back to it if they have a bad experience. So, um, it really is a pretty representative survey of what, uh, what we're getting in class. So Kent, can you can you click and activate that add a survey right there on your Rainmaker screen? Yes. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I can do it. I'm just on my phone right now. Oh, okay. But I, I, I see yeah. what you're doing. I see yeah. it. Okay, cool. So, so you won't get any results for about two months. Or for uh, one month. One month. One month. Well, and you know, you know what else you can do is change that to two let a whole bunch of them go out and then go back in and change it to, to nine again. You know what I'm saying? Like you could, you can edit that right now. So that what is today, Wednesday. So that he's got surveys going out Saturdays, Saturday and Sunday from people that came to class today, came to class on Friday, came to class on Saturday, whatever, put it on one day, put it on every one day so that they get a survey so that everybody in the whole school gets a survey the first time that they come to class, but then turn it off on Saturday. You know what I mean? Or turn it off on Friday or something. So yeah, change it to back to nine then. Right, right, yeah, I don't mean, sorry, I didn't mean turn it off, I mean change it back to a more reasonable time frame. So, and I, um, I thought about making mine, you know, something more like every 15 classes, so they're not getting it constantly, but I feel like people ignore things that they wanna ignore, and then if they, if, if they happen to have a great experience and the survey comes through, they fill it out, they haven't had a bad experience, or they, I, I do, I know for a fact, that people have come back in after they've had a bad experience and said something. And it's such a great way for people to air their grievances or their needs. And so, not grievance, it's a need, right? I have a need about class. Um, and if a survey question can help a quit, 
can one survey question can stop a quit. I know that we're thinking in dollars and cents, and that can be a savings of uh, you know five grand from that student over the next few years. But what if it's also the savings of a family who's going to refer a lot of people and be a wonderful family, and maybe that kid's going to be an instructor? It really is helpful. Um, I know that I've saved people um, if I look, and you can look at um, all the survey results. So like from oh hang on i thought i would share my screen there we go let me go back to it real quick uh so here's my here are my most recent surveys right now it is not all candy canes and lollipops it just so happens to be a lot of good stuff right now um but if i look at all of my results that little button right there i can see that ian Ian's mom, Ian's mom is convinced that her six-year-old is really eight and needs to be in a different class. So I keep getting um, bad stuff from her, right? Um, but that's okay. At least I know what she wants. Um, let's go to, I got a couple of, and they can also be submitted anonymously. There we go. Ha, same one. Yeah, I know, right? Something's happening there. My something's messed up with my rainmaker. So but it's not really anonymous because you would know where, where it came from. Correct, but it's anonymous. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. It's going uh, top down. Here's here it is. Um, it's not truly anonymous, but it's anonymous to them. Does that make sense? Right. So like they yeah. can feel like they're submitting it anonymously without any backlash, and and it straight up says in big. Who is this, Gracie? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, these people were also convinced their daughter was like superstar. Um, uh, they, they can give feedback without fear of reprisal. And that's why so many people don't want to give negative feedback because they don't want to, they don't want to hurt the instructor's feelings. It wasn't really that big of a deal, but actually it was, and they're eventually on the way to quit. Um, it says in bright yellow, this is anonymous. Do not approach this student with feedback. Like it says that in bright yellow. So, you know not to approach them with feedback. Um, but if it says, for example, I bust my butt to get my kid here and every day class is four minutes late. It's like starting four minutes late. I wish somebody would do something about that. Well, boom, you can fix that and the problem is fixed and you didn't have to go, hey, Miss Johnson, thanks for the feedback. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. You, don't, you, didn't have to, you don't have to call her out. So I, I love the, the anonymity, the ability to have anonymity. I can't see one that's anonymous here, but there have been plenty that have been submitted uh, for me anonymously, and it's been really, really, really helpful. For the other ones, I had this uh, consultant back in the day, his name was Mark Gillinson, and one of the lessons he taught me goes, when someone complains, send them a thank you note. And I go, you gotta be crazy. He goes, no, just thank them for the feedback because you're constantly trying to improve your school without students like them, so. Yeah. So I always did that when people gave me some type of negative results. Yeah. Uh, we, we had, so like, here's one that I just saw is two stars and that two stars, it was, um, had challenges or something. I can't remember what it says, but, and the, the feedback is it was my kid. She was very distracted, always seemed to be on the wrong leg. feel like she's young and not coordinated. Uh, so we're not really discouraged. I know we need to be patient, but I just wish I saw better results. Like it says that. So like, that's a really good, uh, that, that's a, that's the ability for like those answers. Had it just said the class was bad, she might not have given that feedback. I was able to go to that mom and say, Hey, look, dude, your kid is actually really, really good. Yes. She was on the wrong leg, but didn't you see her toes pointed in a roundhouse above her head and how her hands were up? And mom was like, yeah, I guess you're right. So I was able to, to, to do that with, uh, with that particular student, but that's a, good, that's a good talk just for the general classes. You know, as parents, we tend to judge our kids against other kids. In martial arts, every kid, child is judged on its own merits. Yeah. yeah. But without really knowing that people are thinking that, you're not going to push it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, that's not going to be constantly in your – I usually say things like that around belt graduation time. Yep. You know, because Uncle Jimmy shows up, and he used to do karate back in the day, and then he says, well, that kid's not as good or whatever. So I usually tamp that down, but not on a regular basis. I use the phrase um, – I say uh, compete, not compare. I say it's totally okay for, for us to compete with each other. That's healthy. We give high fives at the end. But if I'm comparing myself to somebody with longer legs than me, I'm simply – it's a losing battle. I'm either going to get a big head about it because I beat them, or I'm going to feel depressed because I didn't. 
and you know because because I'm better than them or I'm going to get depressed because they're better than me so I don't I don't want to compare and that that seems to stick with kids because it's it's like that alliteration compete not compare so kids get that Kick, female kickboxers get that too they're like yeah you're right you know <laughs> so um that's one of the ways that I approach that on, on a regular basis but without yeah without the negative feedback it can't can't happen if you want to create your own surveys like we were talking about with um uh with Sal, and I don't know if he wants to do it with the automated surveys, but if you're looking at my screen here, the way to do uh, your own custom surveys is right down here, messages, survey pro, and then you can see all the different surveys that I do. So like I have a kickboxing first class survey that automatically goes out every time a kickboxer takes their first class. So out of the 71 times it's been viewed, 58 people have completed it. This gives me a lot of information, you know? Uh, and look, a lot of them have feedback, right? Uh, so here we go. First time user, I would love more communication from the instructor on proper mechanics of each move. Some assurance that I'm doing the move correctly. Okay, well, we also see that he was the only male that has attended class like ever, you know? Um, so, and then most of these were, were good. So what, what does that tell us? Maybe dudes want more one-on-one -on -one, like correction okay no problem um but we have i have lots of these surveys um where is it martial arts next rotation i had six people fill that out new member satisfaction survey i just started that uh what i do is i ask them for um oh they just filled this out and i haven't looked at it be nice if the parkour classes were in the larger space but i understand there are other classes using the space um, so now I can reach out to this person and say, look, we keep our four through six year olds confined to the little room on purpose. When you take the four through six year olds out to the big room, it's like herding cats. You know, he might, he might understand that if we tell him there's a purpose for us being in a smaller room. So, um, yeah, set your surveys at a minimum, set up your automated surveys. And then once you get that done, start creating your own surveys, uh, for, automatically asking people whether or not they were happy with a uh, class or uh, whether or not they were happy with the sign up process. What I ask for kickboxers is I ask, how was the community? I asked a couple things. How was the communication prior to your visit? Then I ask, how was the staff interaction during your visit? Then I ask, how was the class itself? Because what I don't want to do is say, how was everything? And they're like, well, I didn't understand what the heck was going on since my first class, so I had a bad time. Well, no, I appreciated the communication. The staff was really nice, but I had trouble with my roundhouse. Okay, let's set up a time to, to talk to you about that and see if we can get your roundhouse better. Separate those things out uh, and make sure that you're getting appropriate feedback on those. Questions? You had mentioned something uh, when I asked if you would do this subject about how you can help promote your um – Holiday sale? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I meant to say that. So like, um, earlier I said, I'm doing a new rotation for martial arts. I know the answer that I want from my people. Um, but I want it to feel like it's their idea. Right. So I, let's say that I've never done a holiday sale before. Has any, anybody on here not done a holiday sale or not done one very aggressively or is everybody like holiday sale pro? I'm doing it very aggressively. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I want to see Sal hit $100,000 in, in four hours. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, no. Oh, no you do it, that is, days, I, don't you? I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm doing the Costco version, which in the end is still the same. Um, uh, That's like high-pressure sales to me. <laughs> what, the four hours? Yeah. I don't like high pressure sales in person, but I also don't like sticking around past 11 a.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> Plus, I, I, I like educative selling. I kind of think of the, the holiday sale slash party. So people are going to come in and enjoy and have some food and things like that. But you're not going to have a party for a really, really long time. So I think four hour, three hour block is cool. Yeah. And then they're just going to be shopping because all the tables look so great yeah and that's that's better when you're like a tom baker and everybody loves you i'm too standoffish <laughs> for that. <laughs> I, know. I and, and people know it they're like they don't want to 
you know, you have to be here for like three or four years before you like have a conversation for a long time with Mr. William. Uh, and it's not me. I just, I, mean, I guess I'm just putting off those vibes. But anyway, um, so like, let's say, for example, I haven't done it very much or very aggressively, or I've never done it before. I might put out a survey that says, hey, survey, I would like, you know, Motion Tulsa, uh, you know, Johnny's Martial Arts wants to offer you some great deals over the holidays on things that you might need. What do you need, right? So I like to say um, apparel. Uh, do you need discounts on full uniforms, individual separates, or both, right? Do you need discounts? Um, are, you, are you interested in um, equipment for at-home practice? And you could say, no, we don't practice at home. Uh, that wouldn't be valuable. Yes, we practice at home a lot, uh, and we love some discounts. Um, then you could say, for example, tuition. If we, if we packaged up some tuition and allowed you to purchase multiple months at a time, say 12 months or 24 months, and we gave you 20% off of that, would that be something that would be helpful, right? No, that wouldn't be helpful. We don't want to pay it, prepay in advance. Yes, we'd like to prepay in advance. We'd love to get 20% off. Sending out things like that, you already know all the answers to those questions. You just want people to be like, wow, that's so nice that Mr. Sal asked us what would be helpful. And then they fill it, they complete it. And even if they don't fill it out, they saw that there was a survey. So when they see all of the uh, holiday sale signs go up, they know it's not just a money grab. They know that Dave was really actually interested in what was going to be helpful for them. Um, and then maybe you do get good information, right? What other feedback do you have about items that you might need or services that might be helpful? Maybe somebody says, hey, I wish you would package up some, uh, some uh, private lessons because we love to take private lessons from you, uh, but it's kind of annoying to pay every time. Can we pay in advance? Oh my God, yes, that's a great idea. One of the things that we do for our, our holiday sale is um, we had zero people uh, pay for their after school in advance uh, the very first time that we allowed after schoolers to pay in advance. Nobody paid for it. Next year, we added a day camp pass. So we gave them a free day camp um, from November through to the end of May. And that's only like two weeks total worth of, worth of day camps. So we have spring break and then a couple, of, like there's like Thanksgiving. Maybe it's a, more than that, but maybe it's like a month's worth of uh, stuff. But in order to save what was only like 350 bucks, they paid me 3000. So uh, what can you add? Like, and I know that Century does, that has this suggestion, but can I offer a Wave Master and, and package up some private lessons with it? If you, if you buy the Wave Master, we will also allow you to purchase private lessons at a discount, <laughs> whatever. And then ask that in the, in the survey so that people know that it's coming, you know? So I have a question about that. So uh, one of the parents that saw my uh, my lifetime membership and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this is a question for you and Miss and Grandmaster Silva. She suggested, "Hey, do you have like a family plan? You know, for something like that." So uh, I want us to think about what would be a good family plan for kids that have two or three students in the class. That's a good question because we have the same thing. What do you think, Mr. Silva? Well, if you have three family members or five family members, you're not working any harder. So you probably could be uh, pretty aggressive on uh, that type of pricing. Also, I'd really like to have a family membership for a lifetime because once one kid or parent wants to quit, the family's going to support them and your uh, retention's going to be better. Yeah. You know, the big thing in the industry for a while, I mean, Fred Mertens introduced this years ago. If um, two people join, the rest of the family can join for free. So if Sal was going to do a $7,000 family member or a regular membership, it was 14000 for the entire family. I mean, that's a pretty nice uh, uh, a payday. And so, Sal, you're, so, you're, you're, not so doing basically, you're not doing just up to black belt like three years or whatever you're doing like no i got this from mr baker so i i did 7500 for five years and then ten thousand for a lifetime so that's what i'm doing uh so what you're saying grandmaster silva is double that 
and it'll be a whole family for whatever it is. So if you if you double 7,500, you can say it's for the entire family. Or if you double the 10 grand, it's for the entire family. I mean, just think about someone who's got four family members that'd be saving 20 grand in addition to the massive savings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it's a huge benefit to them, right? Yeah. It's a, Tom did, Tom did five years, for, he's doing five years for five grand. He only wants to do five of them. He's doing a lifetime for seven. If he has a parent or someone agreed that I want to do five years for five grand, I'm sure they're going to say, you know, for another two grand, that could be a lifetime membership. So several of them will probably do the seven grand. Uh, Tom was yeah. just kind of thinking, what could he add this year as his most expensive item for the holiday sale? He was at 70000 last year. He's kind of trying to get up to 100000 this year. If he does five of those out of 400 students, I mean, that's a great possibility. I mean, he's, he's got a mm -hmm. huge base, and he's got a huge base of people that actually love his program. So I imagine he's going to do pretty well with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's what you would suggest is double that and just say for two people and the rest of the entire family is free. Yeah. That, that's always, it's been kind of a sales tactic in the industry for a long time. You have a family you're talking to, there's four members. There's a, there's a way you can save $300 on your membership. They go, wow, how do we do that? Well, if uh, you join as a family membership, you're only paying for two, but the rest of the family, the other two can train for free. So the whole idea was to try to get everyone who's coming in on a regular membership to pay twice as much and put them on a family membership. So basically, that's the strategy and the pricing method you're doing. I think it's much easier than if you said, first person's paying full price, I'm going to give 1000 for the second person, 2000 for the third. That's too complicated. Individual yeah. membership, family membership, doesn't matter how many people. You could also theoretically, you could, you could do that only on the prepays. Right. Yes. You could say, you know, no, no, no. If you're paying monthly, you're going to keep paying, but today only, you know, but not if you're Sal, that's, that's too high pressure. Hey, Sal's already done <laughs> 6,500 on a holiday sale. Yeah. <laughs> right, like, cause, cause you, cause you, you do a slow burn, don't you? Yeah. I, I, I cook them slowly. I cook them in the crock pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, 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 you, you smoke them for 24 hours instead of fry them. You don't, you don't flash fry them like I do. I get, I, I run to get it out of get it out of the kitchen. Yes, I put the information out, and then he talks to each one individual. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have thought about that and decided not to. Wait, William's like, William's like, oh no, I'm too ADHD to do all of that. No way. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Uh, I would, I would, you know what I would do is I would make it all out on a big sheet and I'd be like, yeah, it's a great, I would talk to two people and I'd be like, I'm done. I know that about myself now. So I just don't maybe, maybe next uh, time we can talk about more about those packages. Cause I think people would really benefit. I think there's a lot of confusion on that kind of packaging. Okay. Yeah. Cool guys. Hey, you got to say hi all to right. John uh, Cardona. John's got a, a school here in Delray beach, just uh, south of me. He's got a great martial arts school, after school program. He's killing it. Awesome. I hope we see you at Instructor College, John. And so yes, we will. Okay. Actually, I invited Master Kimri to come on. on. Oh, excellent. I well, say he's going to do it. He told me yes. So sign up on the links. I got to know the names of people. Got it. We'll do. All right, sir. Thank you. All right. Take care, sir. Thank, Thank you. Guys.